So you got your your solution, which is pressurized, your extension tube, which can go from five to 20 feet long, depending on what you're trying to do. And then this is the actual collection device. This is the MVAC. So we got it pressurized, turn the vacuum on. Oh. And then we take the wand. This is an on-off switch for the solution. The reason this works so well is because it, it vacuums, sprays in the middle, and then vacuums along the outside. So you can see it spraying here. And it just sucks it up, man. Wow. This is what we call M backing the hell out of it. You guys see that? <laughs> so you can see it's it's um it's it's going up through here and then it's being collected here in the bottle. Oh wow, yeah. So this is if you want to get like touch DNA off this hat, then you just put it on there and you just suck it away, man. Wow. So just I mean exactly like a carpet cleaner. Now once once we're done collecting, then we can take this bottle off. And, so this is your vacuum line. You take this this line off here. And we'll put this on the um, this is a 0.45 micron filter. So it's small the, the pores are small enough that it'll catch any kind of uh, cellular material. Okay. Uh, most cellular material is at least two microns. Okay. And this is so this is about a quarter of that size. So, all right. Then we turn the vacuum back on. So now it's sucking down and um, swirl it around a little bit. Make sure the DNA is suspended, and then you just pour it in. And that filter is what's catching. Yep. It's, it's, it's called uh, PES or polyethylene sulfonate which is a non-binding surface. So, you know, one of the problems with swabbing is it can either be really good at collection or really good at release. It can't be good at both. Yeah. But the MBAC, because this is a non-binding surface, the, the DNA that is on it won't get caught. Yeah. So once you um, once you slice that, that filter out of there yeah. and put it in the extraction tubes, then the DNA just releases right from it. And so that it, it, it'll give a higher yield. Yeah. Wow. And what do you what do you take the filter out with? Well, you just slice it out. So right now all the DNA is just sitting there on top of that filter. So you just slice it out with a like a sterile scalpel. Oh, okay. Go around. Yeah, yeah. And wow. then you uh, confetti it, or you can put it into strips, and then it just fits right. These little extraction tubes are about this big. Yeah. A little one and a half mil, you know, mil liter. Yeah. Put your vacuum on. Okay. I'm, what am I doing? I'm just vacuum something. Put it a little more flat. There you go. Now you don't have to push. Oh, okay. Iron Man. <laughs> I'm like gonna break it. You want to allow the, the, the solution and the vacuum to do the work. So okay. It's not a scrubbing. You actually, yeah, if you can just do it with two fingers, that's the best way to do it. Gotcha. Okay. Look at that, man. 30 seconds and he's a pro. <laughs> Look at that. You hire him? There you go. You're done. No, I assume that they should be operating as gloves, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah they'll be totally uh, masked up and everything. Yeah.